It's always recommended to disconnect the power to your case before doing any repairs or modifications. Contact the factory with the model and serial number to obtain the top and bottom hinge brackets and you will also need a Phillips screwdriver. Once the power has been disconnected, open the door fully 115 degrees on the door you're wanting to reverse the hinging. Remove the two top Phillips screws from the hinge bracket. Once the screws are removed, lift the door off and set to the side. Take the four Phillips screws and reinsert into the hinge holes. At this point, we're going to remove the hinge and relocate the door handle. Remove the two Phillips screws that secure the hinge to the body of the door. Once that's removed, remove the two Phillips screws that secure the door handle to the top. Once the handle is removed, slide it over to cover the old existing hinge. Remount the two Phillips screws in the top of the door. And once that is remounted, you'll see the opposite side hinge hole where the cartridge will fit into the top of the door. You will have to remove excess foam that is in that square inlet for the hinge. And once that is removed, you're going to have to take the hinge apart and mount it into the door, securing with the two Phillips screws. Now you're going to have to spring load the hinge to the proper position. Do that by lifting the hinge bracket upside down, place it on the square top of the cartridge, and turn it until it locks in place. Once it's locked in place, test it to make sure that it springs back towards the gasket. When it springs back with force, you know that it is set properly. Once you're happy with that, remove the hinge bracket, secure the hinge components, the flat washers, the omega clip, and then the bracket. Secure the bracket with the lock washer and Phillips screw. Once the screw is inserted into the top of the hinge, again, close the hinge bracket so that it snaps with force towards the door. Okay. Now you're ready to mount the door. Remove the top and bottom Phillips screws, take the nylon plastic bushing, place it into the square knockout in the bottom of the door, and set the door onto the bottom pivot hinge. Take your hand and load the top hinge so that you can mount the two Phillips screws into the front of the unit. Once the door is mounted properly, close the door, be sure it self-closes by itself, and check for proper gasket seal. For additional information, visit our website at www.continentalrefrigerator.com.